this is the fully automated version of the monthly poultry farm uh, manager application and in other words it's the it's the one in which you have the reports being generated monthly in the graphs but this time around all the automation has been included okay so this is at double the price of the the initial version which is the monthly poultry farm manager that has some of the automation disabled right just to show you how it works you know how to log in and all of that so i'm not going to waste time there you go in you get to the main menu navigation interface um we have 15 other videos apart from this one so you can go and watch each of them to see how to use the different interfaces here they've all been demonstrated in the videos i'm just going to show you where the automation is relevant you see what is said here full charting and report generation automation so this is different from the one you would normally get for the the lower price all right but it's not as sophisticated as the one that's sold for 250,000 which i have chosen to take off the market right the first place you want to go is your kpi charts uh, this is where you really do a lot of your uh, analysis your performance analysis for your for your birds especially with regard to layers because this application was originally built for layers even though i have now added an interface for tracking broiler performance at some um, let's just call it a, a starting phase until we see how the broiler farm owners use it okay so we you are familiar with this screen you know about these charts and these tables the thing that's different now is that this works and you can actually generate a report for instance if i want to see the handy percentage tabulated from 1st of July to the which is the current month for this uh, version of the application to the 31st of July all I have to do is click pen 1 and straight away the application if you notice in the bottom left of your screen it says updating and then it's updated okay what I have used some controls to prevent you from seeing how it's doing it line by line and all of that you don't need to see that so and it's faster that way the code runs much faster right you've done that then you want to see the chart so in the uh, original uh, poultry farm manager the, the monthly version even the even the one that's not monthly, the annual one, you wouldn't, you would have to scroll and begin to go up and down this way, looking at the graphs. So, so, but what I have done instead is to introduce. I didn't offer this before, but I chose to do it anyway. This floating form that presents the chart to you on a screen. You don't have to scroll left, right, or center. You just focus your attention on the form once it's loaded. It's a modeless form, which means that you can take it and pull it aside and do whatever else you want to do here and then still bring it back up and do what you want to do on it. Now, we've just looked at it and you can see it says there, the what it says in this alt uh, prompt is what it says here. As much as possible, you want to keep your plotted handy percentage points close to 7%, 70%. I don't need to explain handy percentage to you if you're watching this as a farm CEO. If you don't understand what that is, send me an email and I will send you a link to the article that explains three important KPIs operationally that are used for your farm operations that can help you monitor the performance of your birds properly, especially your layers in this case. Now, so this we're looking right now at pen one. You see it tells you what month the application is running for. And then you can say, okay, let me see what the chart for pen two looks like because I have three kid lines here and they all seem to be clustered around 70%. So that's not bad. But you would like to look at the ones that are lagging behind the red the red points that's cage two and you may want to check your records the data entry tables and see why was there any vaccination and things like that i've talked about this in other videos so the point is this helps you to kind of using the charted points you don't have to look at the data you can easily see a trend you can see the tr a trough you can see a spike and then you can narrow down to those points and say what happened here trace it back to your data on paper talk to your operatives and say why do we have this change from the normal trend you know it, the points can go up and down so long as it, there's no huge deviations charting the data automatically like this makes it easy if you were to do it manually by yourself you take forever because you have lots of data to handle and you have many batches of bots to look at so this is the essence of this kind of application i click pen 2 it asks me this question the chart will be updated to pen 2 data this may take a few moments do you want to continue you say yes it says new now updating data table and chart display click ok and wait watch the status bar message which is here for update complete prompt to appear okay you click okay and then you wait you keep watching here updating table and chart display then it says update complete you click okay and you find out that okay there's no data when you put in data it will plot so that's how this works let's uh, now when you when you are on when you are monitoring for instance pen 2 when you're looking at pen 2 data which is what is showing here pen 1 and pen 3 buttons are disabled in order for you to get access to them if you want to continue you click start over 
and then the form reloads and everything is, is initialized and you can now have access to them the ch controls here are disabled for this chart but you can launch a print screen you can decide you want to print the chart it will unload the form and take you to the print preview interface just press your escape key if you're done uh, you can just send from there if you want and that's it all these controls are disabled now if you if you're on pen one let's go back and you're looking at pen one data you could decide you don't want to see all the three cage lines in pen one that you just like to see cage one cage one data for instance so right now we're seeing all three cages so just click cage one what happens is it's, it's do you want to update only page one data i say yes and then it hides all the other data and then shows you only the chart chart the charted points for cage one this can be a very powerful tool it, it works so quickly yet the it can save you lots of time and help you discover things that help you proactively discover things that are about to go wrong or on the other hand it could also help you discover what you're doing right that you need to continue you may find that some cage line may show you a certain trend that will suggest that a new brand of feed you introduce would be better off being used for the entire farm farm's flock you know those are the things you want to look at here then you spend your less of your time handling manual data and stressing yourself and more time making sense of the data that you're generating all right that's one <sighs> so I'll stop here I don't think okay let me just well basically you can also send them to the printer each of these um, reports with the charts so if you click the print preview buttons it will do this and then you could just all you have to do is come here enable the appearance of your format and choose your print button you know those are things I don't have to uh, those are very simple things I wouldn't want to bother you with that again when you're a user of any of my applications you get free support if you wanted to print this chart with the mortality rate and handy percentage is plotted on a monthly basis for each month then you could do that and you could begin to file these and also sit down and monitor the trends as well we go back to the main menu um, the other thing that has been introduced here in this version of the application is the fully um, automated report for the broilers okay so if we scroll down but like i said because we're just starting out with broiler farmers we need them to give us feedback on what they need so right now i have the one that's come up with this the farm uses it and you can see it plots some data but there's no data in there all it does is you take the average weights of your body you point them into the spreadsheet for broilers and it automatically automatically calculate average weight gain per bird okay and then you do your feed to meat conversion ratio which is a very useful parameter but only if you you do it properly in terms of your calculations and your measurements when you're weighing the birds when you're taking your samples from your stocks so we're like I'm, I'm looking to see farmers broiler farmers who buy this uh, give me feedback on how uh, it goes there are other four three other parameters i got for broiler performance measurement but again i like to work directly with real life farmers what you're seeing now is because i have had access to real farms farmers who have used this application and then go I've gotten feedback and I've used that to develop an improved version of it for people so most of them took a leap of faith you who are watching this video now may have to do the same thing okay again you can generate a report for the day for the week for the month okay just click the appropriate button and the table will be updated and that includes both the broiler table and the uh, layers table and anytime you decide okay let me you say for instance I want to um, let me print preview the layers report you know it, it does that you know so that's the the one for the daily report if you were to say i want to see the monthly report you will see the table changes and then this summer you see july 2014 it says says the layer farm operations now see the broilers report is right at the bottom there and it's going to load it now and you can send it to the printer you know we could also add a chart for that but that's not part of what i originally had that i offered to automate I try to wait for feedback from users. We have to make sure that what we produce, what we develop, the solutions are solutions can then add value that people will use. This, this is not about showing off that one has uh, developer skills. Um, I'm a solutions developer. I'm not just somebody who just wants to show that he knows how to automate things.